Important. We've got uh, four or five games left and uh, you know we can't afford to drop any games. Um, you know, Sheffield keep on winning so that means we've got to keep on winning. So um, you know it's extremely important at this time of year to get some second game. Yeah. Uh, you know, good two good teams. Uh, well I mean we still got four four very good teams to play. Uh, I mean but obviously the Rocks are one team that stand out as well as I think uh, as well as Cheshire. So uh, we just I mean we just gotta keep right playing, playing well, making sure we keep getting W, that's it. Good, they're a good team, uh, and they're very well coached. Uh, you know, Tony Garvalo is a very experienced coach and so he's gonna have them ready for games like this. Uh, I think what happens in most of our games is that we've got a very deep team uh, and, and when there's subs made, another guy comes off the bench who's a good player and then it's just so on and so forth. So. Yeah, it was a real tight game, tough game. I think they came out and played re, uh, really well. Uh, I think Bell gave them a great spark in the, in the first half of the basketball game. Um, and, you know, it was it was just tough all the way through. It wasn't to the end until we would start to capitalize off of it. Um, and, you know, I'm excited that that was the, that was the fir first one that out of five games left. That's one down, four to go. We got, well, here's the schedule. We got Rocks, I mean, Leicester on Friday. Cheshire on Sunday, then we got Milton Keynes on Friday, and then Rocks on a Sunday. So, you know, it, it's, it's all go. So, it, there's nothing else we can do about it, but, you know, close every game out and have the intensity and heart, and hopefully we'll, you know, we'll do the job, but it's taking one game at a time. Celebrate this one tonight on the bus, bus ride home, and then after that, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's on to the next one. 
Both games were very tough. Um, second half today, um, just came out s um, slow and just got blown away and it was tough to catch up. But uh, tough weekend for us, yeah. Uh, I think so, yeah. The outside touch wasn't there and free throws um, definitely wasn't there. So, yeah, definitely influenced the game. Um, we couldn't keep going to the basket because they're just collapsing on us. So, um, if we made some threes, then it might have opened up the game a little bit more for us. A big derby game coming up against Chester, we, which we haven't beaten them yet. Um, yet so, hopefully we can get um, a win against them and then on the road at Capitals and then Glasgow the weekend after. So. Um, some tough games coming into the playoffs. Um, hopefully, we can, you know, slowly get better and progress into the playoffs. Um, we're slowly getting there. We're just um, introducing Kevin Bell back into the rotation now, and we're we'll trying to get everyone on the same page. Um, Fitness-wise, everyone's good. So yeah, we should uh, we should be alright for the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, they showed why they're a champion team. You know, they showed you know desire and. You know, almost that kind of no, no way are they going to lose attitude, and you know we just melted down in the third quarter, became a, just a one-on-one -on -one team, and not um, having any conviction in what we were doing, and the cohesiveness of ourselves went, and that was the game, and that you know, um, so that's a disappointment because that's that's a that's a back step from where we were two or three weeks ago when we played them here the last time. Of course, I mean, you know, I just told my guys before the game that for us to be any type of threatening team in the playoffs, we've got to shoot the ball better. And, um, you know, again, we just shot the ball horrendously. And if, you know, everyone knows James Jones and Andy Thompson can shoot the ball, so they're chasing them hard off the line. But at the same time, other players have got to make shots. And if we don't make shots, we, we have little chance at this moment. We're doing other things well, but we've got to make shots. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, for us, you know, the next two weeks are going to basically dictate not just about the playoffs, but how we go into the playoffs. If we go 4-0 and zero and we beat Chester and Scottish Rocks back-to-back, -back, then I think that um, we will have some momentum going into the playoffs. We drop any of those games there. Not only are we going to be in a bad position for the playoffs, but we're also going to be in no fit shape to do anything there. You know, we just got to, everyone has got to come together, and that's what we've been saying for the last two weeks now.